Hello, Kite 1972 here with another Onigiri video. This time I'm running with a friend to face off with Satan in one of the major dungeons. We came into this not expecting to get very far. I'm level 115, but my weapons don't match me. And is what I would view as below standard for this fight. And most of my summons were equally as such, below standards. And my companion that ran with me on this one, he was even lower level than I. He had pretty decent weapons, but that wasn't quite up to par either. We were just wanting to see how far we could actually go and how big of a struggle it would be. I'm using my strongest weapon to begin with to try and inflict as much damage as possible just to see how far we can go with it. His attacks were vicious and well timed as he went against us. Majority of the time I was running around healing rather than attacking. Pretty certain my friend was in the same boat regarding that. I'd already lost my gargoyle, and that was the first time I went down there. <laughs> And that was me trying to outrun the barrier and failed, of course. Now, if I thought about it prior, I probably would have applied some Ogi skills to enhance the fight a little bit, but I didn't think of it beforehand. And there's the second time I drop, and I just lost another one of my companions. I found that the ice attack was being extremely effective. I think he has more severe weaknesses, but because it hit so many times, I did a lot of damage with it. Trying to dodge those lightning attacks that he does is virtually impossible. And there went a third companion still. and a third time down. Not sure how many, how many times my friend has dropped. Like I said, he was a little lower than I. At this point, we got Satan down to about half. And we were beginning to believe that we were actually going to be able to pull this off. So we continued at it, doing the best we can. And I hated that he dodged that ice attack. That kind of sucked. And there 
there's that lightning again struggling to get out of it barely made it that time This one, he pinned me right inside. I couldn't go anywhere. Just had to wait it out. Death number four. At this point, Satan starts to get really dodgy and highly defensive, as you can see. Every time I got close with this axe the, at that point, he was usually using that floor attack. So losing regular Azuna, I summoned my Azuna Tritels to continue assisting because now all four of my companions I had out are down and figured it'd be a good idea to get some help. <laughs> I had to switch the bow because like I said he got in the habit of using that floor attack any time a melee attack got close. But he still managed to get up in my face on several occasions. And that single beam attack, it hurts a lot. <laughs> Took out one third of my health in one shot. At this time, at this point, we got him down to quarter health, and we were absolutely certain we were going to get him.
I'm not sure how that bee missed me. Azuna tried to, only has one third of her life left. She's hardly been on the map. There's where Satan pins me in pretty good. had to pass back through his floor attack just to get out of there. That was the last of my very expensive Najiri. So I had to resort to, I believe that was lobster or crab, I forget. My weapon's over halfway destroyed at this point. That's why I swapped out the axe. It was getting close to its end. And I just lost my Azuna Tritel. So at this point, I didn't have any... I didn't have access to any any useful companions at this point. So it was just my friend, myself, and I, and him. Oh, my friend has an Azuna. Okay. And that's where we surprisingly finished it. We were both excited and relieved because, like I said, at first we didn't even think we was going to be able to pull it off. But sure enough, we did. The duo of the deadly lollies. <laughs> like if you like, hate if you hate. Comments, welcome, subscriptions, and shares encouraged. Until next video, play with heart.